The animal I really dig, above all others, is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever, pigs are courteous, however. Now and then, to break this rule, one meets a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say, strolling through the woods one day? Right there in front of you, you saw a little pig whose his house of straw. The wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, That pig has had his chips. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the chair, but my chin chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Wolfie blew his house away. He shouted, Bacon, pork and ham, oh what a lucky wolf I am. And though he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail till last. Wolf wandered on, a trifle bloated. Surprise, surprise, for soon he noted. Another little house for pigs, and this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, the wolf said. Okay, here we go. He then began to blow and blow. The little pig began to squeal. He cried, Oh, wolf, well, you have one, Mia. Why can't you come up and make The wolf replied, Not on your name. And soon the pig was in his belly. Two juicy little pigs. Wolf cried. But still I'm not quite satisfied. Oh, I know my tubby is bulging. Oh, but how I love indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little pig. You will not get me! The piggy cried. I'll blow you down! The wolf replied. You will eat! The pig said. A lot of puff and I don't think you've got enough. Who oh, puffed and puffed and blew and blew. The house stayed up as good as new. I'll have to, if I can't blow it down, the wolf said, then I'll have to blow it up instead. I'll come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite, he cried. You blew dynamite just now! Then picking up the telephone, he died as quickly as he could, the middle of Red Riding Hood. Hello, she said. Who's speaking? Who? Oh, hello, Piggy. How do you do? Pig cried. I need your help, Miss Hood. Oh, please. Oh, please help me. Do you think you could? I just began to wash my hair. But when I'm done, I'll be right there. The writer. A short while later, through the wood, came stride and brave Miss Riding Hood. The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze, and yellowish like mayonnaise. His teeth were sharp, his gums were raw, and spit was dripping from his drawer. Once ma more the maiden eyelid flickers, she draws the pistol from her knickers. Once more she hits the vital spot, and kills him with a single shot. Pig peeping through the window stood and yelled, Ah, Piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now, Miss Riding Hood, one notes, not only has two wolf skin coats, but when... Oh, sorry. When she goes to place to place, she has a pig in trumpet case.